Minor service on a Volvo S60. This is a 2014 model and the engine and this is the diesel. So we will be replacing the oil filter and um, swapping out the engine oil and putting in fully synthetic engine oil into it. We remove this cover first and foremost. That comes up out of the way. Push button clips that are holding that down. And there's a push button clip down there. Another one over here and at the back there and another one just here. So the next thing we will be doing is getting access to, if you want to see the oil filter is located just down there. So I'll be taking off the air intake pipe here and making enough room to get at the oil filter housing. So with the air breather pipe out of the way, that allows much more room. It's a 27 mil that goes onto it and it's a half inch drive I will be using to remove it. This breather pipe here was just Phillips, or sorry, flathead Jubilee clips and that comes right out. So the next thing I'll do is back that out and uh, get access to the cartridge filter. I now have the oil filter removed and it's still in the housing here. So if you look down here, there's a seal that will need to be replaced just in that section that needs to come out. I'll show you in a second. And then this is a push down. So it just pulls straight back up out of position. You pull straight back and that's it. Now I would recommend, um, of course, checking your new filter is correct before installing it. But if you look at this one here, this is an OE quality filter that's going into it. I would recommend sitting it down into the uh, oil filter housing in the, in the vehicle first. So pushing it down into position because you want to locate that pin and make sure it's sitting right before you tighten down the top of the housing. So I'm going to be fitting it back that way and it makes it a lot easier and avoids any potential damage. The oil filter is now out and I've replaced the seal as well. So the new seal has been put in and I have my filter here. I'm going to put that into the vehicle now and then I'm going to tighten down the housing top. So if you look down in that position there, you can see the opening where the uh, pin slides into. Make sure that it's seated down in that and then tighten the oil filter housing top. The filter is now fitted and back in position. It's just about reverse order now, putting everything uh, back the way it should be. I moved this out of the way, this cable, so I just need to seat that back down along there and fit in the air intake pipe as well. Then I'll be putting it in the air and uh, draining the oil out of it. We need to first take down the undershield. The vehicle is now up in the air, so we have T40s that is holding on the undershield in this car. I just want to zoom in. There you go. So we have one, two, three four five six seven about eight that's holding them on i'll take them down now and uh, gain access to the sump with that now taken down we now have access to the sump plug it is a 21 millimeter to remove that and make sure that you allow it to completely drain out before tightening that back up um, once you have that done, it's reverse order again, put everything back together, under shield back on, and then it will be about filling oil uh, into the engine and making sure the levels are correct. Some plug is now tightened up and cleaned off. Just gonna put the under shield up now. Now back up in position, and now it's time to drop it down and put the oil in. Okay, so I'm going to fill this up now. Make sure you put in the correct grade of oil for your climate and also make sure that you never exceed the maximum level. I have the oil in now and I'm just about to dip it. All right, so you can see just on the dipstick there that it's right up to the maximum line, which is in a good position to be because I'll re-dip that after I start it and run the engine for a little bit 
and make sure that uh, I top it up a bit more and the level should be fine. I've just topped up the engine oil now, it's reading to its maximum level so this job is now complete. I will be linking and I'll pop it up here how to reset the service interval warning if you are doing the oil and change filter yourself. Uh, and that is pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I hope to see you in the next one.